What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another reaction video. Today we're going to be checking out a channel that over the past couple months I have actually really enjoyed their content. They're fairly new to YouTube and that is Girlfriend Reviews. And if you guys have never heard of them, basically it puts a whole spin on reviewing a game. But this uh, channel does it in the perspective of this guy's girlfriend. So basically... Uh, backseat gamer type of aspect. So I'll play the game and then she'll describe it based on her perspective. I don't really know how you want me to describe it. But yeah, they've done a lot of videos. They're all really uh, well edited, well put together, really funny. And yeah, so just the other day they had posted a Halloween edition which um, includes three games that I have actually, well, two of them I've played, one of them I've seen, but was not able to get the chance to play. And that is, uh, they played Outlast, they played Until Dawn, and PT. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. We're going to get straight into this. And let's get it rolling. Our go-to genre for movie nights is horror. Something about watching beautiful teenagers in their late 20s make fatal mistakes that fills me with warm smugginess. Boy, everyone is stupid except, except me. Then yeah, I pretty much. Horror video games. You said this wasn't a spooky. And realized I don't like it as much when bad things are happening to me. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, Case I agree. In point, I love my girl Sigourney in Alien, but when I put on the panties, I didn't make it 15 minutes without pooping them. Oh, my God. <laughs> no thanks. However, Halloween is Aww. my favorite holiday, <laughs> besides Christmas and my birthday, <laughs> which is why Aww. I sucked it up, got tough, and made my boyfriend play a bunch of scary games for me. Hey, knock it off! There's a kid back there! <laughs> I'm in danger! Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this episode Girlfriend Review's first annual Halloween Top 3 Scariest Games to Watch Someone Else Play Spooktober Clickbait Special. That is the longest title I have ever seen in my life. Outlast, until Dawn, and the very rare, very cancelled Silent Hills, more commonly known as PT. So turn off the lights, no, oh God. to bed, and tell your boss to kiss my butt, because this video is so disturbing. Oh, God. So shocking. Someone pooped out a whole arm. Oh, <laughs> God damn it. Demonetized. It's spooky. <laughs> spooky. Let us begin on a dark and stormy night in Outlast. We played as a journalist investigating reports of inhumane experiments being conducted at an insane asylum. And it's at this point in the story that I would have put the car in reverse, backed it all the way up to the title screen, clicked exit, uninstalled, and asked for a refund. <laughs> but my no thanks. I thought going into a dilapidated hospital in the middle of the night sounded fun. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Mm -mm. So I settled for turning the lights back on and opening the curtains. We were playing with the lights off, but Shelby got scared, so she's opening the windows. <laughs> she's so scared right now. Yeah, I'd be too. I can literally see a poop in her pants. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Jump scares such as that are constant in Outlast and are the game's primary source of suspense. Oh, God. I usually don't like horror films that rely on oh, jump scares because it's Pennywise. less that I'm scared and more that I don't like being yelled at. <laughs> Um, Stop. excuse me? I've learned that in video games, though, they're a lot more fun. Movies move forward no matter what. Video games only move forward if you can find the courage, and it produces a similar joy as playing Crocodile Dentist. <laughs> <laughs> or Don't Wake Daddy. Will he wake up? Oh, yes. The secondary source of suspense in Oh Earth god. Is of being big boy. By an unstoppable force. Much like the victims of Michael Myers, Jason, and the Terminator, the player has the no Terminator. Offense against their stalkers. The only option is to be sneaky. But if you hear the theme song from Batman Forever, it means time to go. <laughs> go go go. What? Oh, he what? <laughs> Nope, he coming for you. So freaking scary. He coming for your ass. Jump. I did it. Oh, mama. Oh. oh, Lord have mercy. Keep going, Babu. Let's get the heck out of here. Unfortunately, this gameplay oh. mechanic starts to lose its effect and appeal when you realize the whole game is basically R-rated hide and seek, and the enemies are worse at it than five-year-olds. They almost never look in the correct locker you've shoved yourself into, then mosey on back to their predetermined path, leaving you more inconvenient and afraid. Can't get me in here. Oh. 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 
That is one ugly ass face. So should your boy That's a face only a mother could love. Yes. And on the brand new Girlfriend Reviews Spookometer, I give it three pooped panties out of five. <laughs> a go home situation. The next game on our list is Until Dawn. Until Dawn is pure entertainment, and maybe yep. the first time I had more fun watching than my boyfriend had playing. Is this this is just Scooby Doo? It's like a Metroidvania, only way better. Because this one doesn't have anything fun like platforming or combat. Yo, look at his teeth. No. <laughs> If you watched Ew. my last interactive movie review of Detroit Become Human, you know that I thought it was a beautiful, well-acted piece of garbage and a 10 out of 10 must-play experience I hated that has a little something for everyone. Squidward. Oh my god. I didn't think quick-time events were an appropriate medium for telling a story about civil rights that exploits domestic violence, racism, and the Holocaust to tell you how to feel, rather than explore the philosophical debates and ethical dilemmas that make artificial intelligence such a provocative and fun plot device. <sighs> In short, out of every developer I know, David Cage smells his own farts the most. <sighs> but I imagine God damn it, David Cage. massive games threw their hat into the interactive movie ring. They turned to him and said, You know what the difference is between you and me? What? I do it better? I make this look good. This is it, folks. Backseat gaming date night perfection. It has that classic snuggle up with popcorn vibe that makes spooky movies so Michael funny. Jackson. Only now when I yell. <laughs> The actors have to listen to me because the actors are my boyfriend. Ah! <laughs> yeah. And when a dumb and horny teenager gets killed, it's not because they are dumb and horny, it's because my boyfriend is dumb and horny. Yeah. Oh! Coming, Jessica, I love you. Well, I mean... I'll save you and we'll go back to the cabin and we'll bang, okay? But hold up a minute, this is a top three scariest games clickbait special, and unfortunately, Until Dawn just isn't very scary. Oh. Don't worry, I'll save the cheerleader. Oh no! For starters, there are collectibles scattered throughout the game called totems that are just yep. straight up movie spoilers. These visions are intended to help the player survive future events, like that Nicolas Cage movie. You can see things before they happen. Only my future. <laughs> However, giving the player godlike powers while spoiling the best part of horror, the death, really kills the suspense and breaks the immersion of being a sexy yet vulnerable slasher victim. Furthermore, a lot of the totems are mundane nonsense. If we don't do something, somebody's gonna watch a crow fly off of a bench. <laughs> and stressing about deciphering the meaning was more distracting than helpful, leading to frequent pausing during moments of high intensity. <laughs> you or me. You or me. You or me. Totems. What do I do? So, should your boyfriend play Until Dawn this Halloween? Absolutely yes. But on the brand new Girlfriend Review Spookometer, I give it one peed panties out of five because I wet myself laughing. The last game I want to talk about today is the freaky love child of Guillermo del Toro and Hideo Kojima that was murdered by Konami in its infancy. All that remains of Silent Hills is the playable teaser, a ghost of the cancelled project which has been unavailable for download since 2015. To experience it now, one has to acquire a PlayStation yeah. 4 that it was never deleted from. So in a harrowing act of investigative gaming journalism, you searched all over. I drove 45 minutes to <gasps> with a collector of rare and ancient relics, the completionist. A wonderful team in the flesh. You guys, <laughs> Gerard let us borrow his personal PS4, so go say thank you. What is that thing there? Oh, it's yeah. Scrooge. Brent. PT takes place in a single ordinary hallway. You ever turn the lights off in the kitchen, then speed walk through the dark to your room because maybe there's a boogeyman behind you? That's yes. the exact tickle on your neck that PT creates within seconds without needing backstory, dangerous enemies, or threats of any kind. Instead, Kojima conjures an experience that we've all had at some point in our lives, being alone in a house at night and getting the willies. Hello? Then within yeah. minutes, the game taps into a second fear everyone Later. will recognize, having a nightmare. The end of the hallway is the beginning is the end ad infinitum, unless you can solve cryptic puzzles that bend reality a little more with each solution. Oh, God. I really wish this game was an actual thing. Making it scarier as you progress, like the only way to wake yourself up is out of fright. Oh. I yelled, I'm sorry. Hello! Oh my days. Pardon me! Only you can't wake up because it's not a nightmare. It's worse. It's a game by Hideo Kojima. <laughs> Hello, Kojima? I have one question. What the f? Oh, it's a fetus! It's... Oh, it's a fetus! <laughs> this is an evil game. Oh, I can feel it right now. Oh, oh no. 
Even my I'm boyfriend, good. who is a horror. I'm out. Okay. Let's go. Veteran said the most terrifying thing he's ever had to do in a video game is simply turn around <coughs> and PT. I don't want to. Have to look I want to leave. Can't go through oh, this. stop. Oh! <laughs> Eventually, the puzzles become nauseatingly confusing, adding a physical layer of discomfort to the mix. Then, if you want to get the super secret ending that reveals the trailer for Silent Hill, you have to look up how to do it online because it's not so much a puzzle as it is a secret Illuminati handshake. In fact, yeah. here is some exclusive footage of Kojima himself explaining the process. Let's go like this. Spin around, <laughs> stop. Double, Double take three, three times. One, One two, two, three. And... Tell me, Josh! So don't fight that so should your boyfriend play PT now it's time no, to spin it around town spin it around town I tried to message the completionist thanks for taking the ps4 it's your problem now may God have mercy on your souls then oh, we tried God. to return it to his offices but when we got there the place was empty until someone hears from him I'm locking this thing in storage downstairs like Annabelle <laughs> Oh. You hear that? Oh. What? Like a, like a jet engine taking off. Mm. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah. That's what the PS4 will do to you. That PS4 will severely just start to make a lot of noise. And. Make it feel like it's about to blow. Because <laughs> that's what my Slim did when I was playing Red Dead 2. It literally sounded like a jet engine. But yeah, that was a Halloween special of Girlfriend Reviews. <laughs> and that's why I like them. They're silly, they're informational, they're well edited. They're, they're a blast to watch. And they're not that long. They're pretty short. 10 minutes, some are a bit longer, some are around like 7 to 10 minutes, but yeah, they do a really good job, I commend them, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, more reactions will be coming soon, I will be starting some more gameplay videos, so if you guys have any suggestions on any games you want to see me play, uh, leave them down in the comments, or you can uh, drop me a message on Twitter, my Twitter and everything else will be in the description down below. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.